Hey, welcome to another Excel VBA coding video. And for this example, we're going to process this uh, data table and produce an output table with this format wherein we're just going to have one row for each buyer. So for example, John will get this buyer and check the output. If we already have a buyer, John, if not, we'll need to add John in here and then look for his item, for example, pen, and then add the quantity 16. So we need to check what's the correct column to put the quantity 16. So for example, pen will need to have that quantity in here. And then if, for example, we have another item, John, with the same item, pen, and now quantity 13, we need to look for that row and then add the value on the current value we have for the column pen. So if for that case, we need to have or we need to see uh, that we have 29 quantity for, for that buyer and for that item pen. So in this, uh, in, in this example, we will be utilizing the VBA for loop. So let's get started. Make sure to open your Excel VBA editor and then we'll start with adding a new module and I will name this module transfer data and then we'll start with creating a new procedure let me also call it transfer data and let me just close these uh, properties in Tragic Explorer and we'll start with declaring variable that will represent our two worksheets so as worksheet and or sage as worksheet and now let's set the value of this variable all right and we need to have a variable that will also represent our buyer item and quantity so let's declare them and quantity which should be an integer and now our first loop should go through this column through all the buyer we have so let's use variable a and it will start with row number two to the rsh that range a and rows that count that, that end xlab the row. So what this line basically does is to look for the last row in column A with value. So in this example, it will return 10. And now let's uh, assign value to our variable. CNA that value. Right, so once you have that, the next step is to go to our output worksheet and check. For example, the first row that we will process is buyer John. So we need to go to our worksheet, uh, output worksheet, and check if we already have an existing buyer named John. So we need to have a variable that will uh, represent. The result, so let's say buyer exists, should be a boolean, and by default, let's set the value to false. And then we also need to have a variable that will represent or that will hold the number of buyer we already have for in our output. So let's say name of variable is buyer count, it should be an integer, and buyer count is equal to OSH which is the output worksheet, the range A and rows that count, that end, Excel lab, that row. Okay, so if we don't have an item, this uh, this variable will only contain one. So we need to, if this, if buyer count is, uh, is equals to one, then we no longer need to check if the buyer exists because uh, because there's no buyer name yet so we need to have a condition here that if buyer exists or if buyer count is uh, less than or equals to one 
then and yep, meaning that you don't have by, by your name sorry it should be uh, greater than or equal to 2 so we will just only check if buyer exists if buyer count is greater than or equal to 2 meaning that we we have at least one buyer name in here so to start with we need to have another for loop so 4b is equals to 2 because we will need to start uh, checking row number 2 to the buyer count And then we need to check if OSH at range A and B that value is equal to our buyer name. If it is, then meaning buyer exists should be set to true. Alright, so once you see the buyer row, the next step is to check the, the column number where the quantity will be inserted. So we need to have another for loop in here. So let's use variable C and it will start with column number 2 to OSH at cells. Row number 1, columns that count, that end, Excel to left, that column. So what this line does is to return the last column with value so in this example the last column is number four so it will it this loop will only uh, run until c is uh, greater than number four or equals to four so let's have an if condition here that if oSH that sells one c that value is equals to the item for example pen then we need to put the quantity on that field and to do that let's say OSH that sells the row number should be the variable B and the column number is the variable C that value is equals to to the current value of this field for example plus the new quantity so to do that let's say OSH that sells B C that value plus quantity. Alright, but if the cell is blank, we might receive an error. So to avoid that, let's convert the value of the uh, of this field to to an integer. So if it's blank, it will automatically convert it to zero, and we will not receive an error. So I think we can now try this. Using F8, let's uh, run it by debug and see the buyer join item pen quantity 16 and buyer count is, is just equals to 1 so this condition will be not will not be met and finish the loop without doing anything. So the next step is to check if buyer exists is equals to false meaning that we need to add the buyer information in the table so to do that we'll start with OSH that range A and buyer count plus one that value is equals to the buyer name remember buyer count represent the, the last row in our output worksheet with values so and then we put one so to make sure that the next buyer or the next buyer information will go to the next uh, row of the table and then here we need to again look through all the uh, column name and find the item where we need to put the quantity so let's say 4c again is equal to 2 to OSH at cells 1 columns that count that end Excel to left column 
So you, you can just simply put here 4 since you know that we just only have until 4 column number but uh, using this approach makes your code more flexible if for example you add another uh, column in the future so there's no need for you to change the code it will still work. And then we need to check if OSH that sells 1 C that value is equal to the item we're looking then and if and if yes we will put the value on that row and cell field so let's say it sells our cell should be the or our row should be the buyer count plus one and the column index is c that value is equals to again let's convert the value of the uh of the field to integer cells buyer count plus one see that value plus the quantity and make sure to have an exit point here all right i think we cannot try this code so let's try the first one the first item is john pen 16 using f8 on your keyboard buyer is john item pen and this condition will not be met and buyer exists equals to false then we'll put the first buyer name in here and then it will look for the item pen and there we have the pen the next customer is john again the item is stable and the quantity is three now it says that we already have a, a buyer on our output table and it's the same with the buyer we're looking and then it is looking for the column number of the item table and put the value in there and the next buyer is again John but this time the item is chair let's see if it will yep all right so I think I can run it and let's check John pen is 16 and then we also have another pen in here 13 so it should be 29 John table is only 3 and chair is 9 and it's correct Brandon pen is 10 correct Brandon chair is 2 plus 4 is 6 okay and Ariel it's it's the same chair 4 plus 3 is 7 yep 7 all right so I think the last thing that I forgot is to put the macro on this uh, button so to do that just click this field right click and click assign macro and then look for the procedure that we created and select ok so let me remove this uh, volume here first and I think we should add here a message box telling the user that data has been transferred and with an icon BB information so let's try it go to row click this button and data transferred look to the output and it's correct so that's all for for this example guys thank you for watching